Hey everybody, Tom Barnes, stories from the 78 right here on North Avenue, Damon in Milwaukee, which is back that way, talking to Eldridge Williams, who is the owner of the Delta, also opening up not one, mm -mm, two new concepts later this year, a new take on a country western bar in a cocktail lounge. I'm going to talk to him now inside the Delta, celebrating seven years here in Chicago for this story from the 78. So we're inside the Delta celebrating seven years this September. Eldridge Williams, the uh, owner. How you doing, sir? I'm well. How are you? I'm good, great. Good, good. And congratulations. Seven years. Yeah. Any restaurant in the city is an accomplishment yeah. to do one year. So the Absolutely. fact that you're rolling out seven and then you're decided, oh, you know what? We're not going to open one, but we're going to open two yeah. more concepts this year in Chicago. Congratulations. That's a huge accomplishment. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And it's rather ambitious, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. And in two very different concepts. Yes, yes, for sure. Absolutely. So uh, the first one uh, is a, a different look through a country western bar, mm -hmm. right? So explain that one because it reminded me of a story about something else that I'll get to in a second, but go ahead and explain that one. Um, yeah, so if I can just give you a little background as to what triggered the idea. Um, you know, it started like years ago. Um, it came in two specific parts. Um, one, I was um, watching the Netflix documentary called High on the Hog. And if, for those who don't know, it's a documentary that talks about the history of African-American cooking and how those cooking styles, how it represents a lot of like cooking that we are very familiar with today. Mm -hmm. And in that documentary, they talked about cowboys and the history of cowboys and the term cowboys and it really inspired me and made me want to do my own research on that idea and the stories that they were telling. Um, and with that, I came across this um, cowboy named Nate Love, who was considered the first documented famous cowboy. He happened to be African-American. Um, and I fell in love with his story. Um, and... You know, I always had this inkling of wanting to do a country western bar, mm -hmm. um, but I like to have a story. I like to have substance. I like to have something that represents the ideal outside of just food and beverage. Um, and when I came across that story, I knew that I had something. Um, so that was one. The second actually came from watching the movie Soul Man. I don't know if I many of you guys seen that movie, but it was with. Um, the late and great Bernie Mac. Yeah. And um, Chicago's and, very own. Yes. And yeah. Samuel Jackson. Mm -hmm. um, so they were like two old school um, soul singers who were traveling, um, going to a show in Vegas, I believe. And they haven't performed in like forever. So they decided to um, hit a bunch of little bars along the way just to knock the dust off their performance so they don't embarrass themselves. And along the way, they performed inside of this legitimate like hunky tonk. And not knowing what direction they were going to go, they just kind of went in doing their whole soul, you know, performance. And that was this Which really, is not a thing, really, in Honky Tonks. It is not. But that was this, or at least this it wasn't. beautiful blend of cultures uh -huh. where they had their soul and they had the Honky Tonk. And it was just a, such an inspiring, like, moment in the movie for me. And I just remember, like, watching that. And I'm like, man, how can I bottle that energy and turn it into something that people can experience, like, all the time? Right. You know, and we have Red River Dicks. And it's just, it's a great story. Yeah. We were just talking before we even got started here about yeah. country music in general. Yeah. In country music, historically, has been America's music. Mm -hmm. We invented that yeah. genre of music, right? But it only really represented, up until recently, a certain part of America. But in the last few years, it has really changed. You even mentioned Beyonce dropping mm -hmm. a country album. But the country music is shifting, I think, with the explosion of Nashville and more eyes on it and more cultures diving into it, you're getting a different vibe of country music. And you see it at any country uh, event happening here in Chicago, at the very least. No, absolutely. You know, there's definitely been a cultural shift um, in terms of music, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes to country. Um, and, you know, when I think about the idea of a person that looks like me opening up a country western bar, you know, for me, it's, you know, it gives me an opportunity to move the needle, you know, to do something that I doesn't, that seems out of pocket, you know, um, I want to be a part of that 
transition in which country music, the country culture is shifting, you know, um, and the way I'm able to do it is within the industry that I work in, which yeah. is food and beverage, you know, and I think it's, you know, I'm going to be able to bridge cultural gaps. You know, I'm going to provide an experience where those who grew up going to country bars, they're going to love it all the same. But those who would never think that they would want to go and hang out at one, you're going to want to come to Red River Dicks. Because it's going to What's be a, a little bit of the twinge that's different, you know, that folks might not be expecting? Well, one, just the, the storyline, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I built a concept that um, is inspired by uh, African-American um, legends, some would consider. Um, so that's one. Mm -hmm. um, and two, you know, not to give too much away, you know, I'll just say I just have the secret sauce, man. <laughs> like, I just know how to really capitalize on the details. Um, it may not be something that is that obvious when you when you're there, uh -huh. but you feel it, you know, um, and sometimes like I don't really know what that thing is i just know how it should feel i know exactly what you mean by you that know? yeah um, for sure and there are a lot of small little things that cater into that idea you know and when it all comes together it has such an impactful impactful experience for the for people um and yeah i so would argue with, that you've done that here at the delta yeah, yeah. i mean just based on your history yeah. blending you know mexican food with black culture and giving us this wonderful space that is the Delta. Mm -hmm. Obviously people love it because it's been here for seven years. And again, that doesn't happen easily in a city like Chicago, just because there's so much competition and you're throwing the pandemic and yeah. you guys are still here. So I, I, I understand what you mean and I've seen your secret sauce live in person. I mean, there's been a gospel event happening in this space mm -hmm. here, so it's incredible. So you decided to open the Country Western Bar yes. this year and yeah. you're also gonna do a cocktail lounge. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> Cocktail Lounge, it's going to be in River North. It's going to be called the Pink Polo Social Club and Bar. Um, so that actually was a concept that that was designed years ago. Um, you know, same as Red River Dicks. You know, I, I come up with these. I get inspired with these concepts. I put them together as if, like, I'm doing it tomorrow. Uh -huh. um, and <laughs> I archive them, not knowing when they're going to come back around. And when my business partner, uh, Robert, when he approached me with this opportunity, um, as soon as I went and saw the space, I knew exactly what could go there. Um, so, you know, the pink polo is taking two things that I, I love, which are social clubs mm -hmm. and which are cocktail lounges. And, and social you, clubs usually are places you have to pay to get yeah, into, right? But not, yeah, but not at the Pink Polo. Right. Not at all. Which is know? a great new concept for And sure. if you take your favorite social club, you take your favorite cocktail bar, imagine they had a baby, and I raised that baby. <laughs> like, that is what the Pink Polo is going to be. Um, you know, we are going to have a very ambitious cocktail program. You know, I, um, I've always wanted to have... You know, uh, a concept that had a very serious cocktail program. So I'm very excited for that. Um, but more importantly, you know, we want to be able to create a very comfortable, um, vibrant space for people that will want to just relax and have a good time. You know, and, you know, if you're familiar with how social clubs operate, you know, you'll get that same feel and vibe. But you just won't be bothered by having to pay to be there, you know. Yeah. And both concepts going to open their doors this year, 2024? Yeah, so the Pink Polo is going to come first. We're shooting for a early summer opening. Mm -hmm. um, and Red River Dicks is looking like a late summer opening. What neighborhood is that one? Red River Dicks yep. is going to be in Lincoln Park. In Lincoln Park. Yeah. Uh, and for folks that want to find information as things come about, what's the best way for them to find that? Social media yep. on our Instagram. Yeah, you can follow both the Pink Polo and Red River Dicks on Instagram to keep up with the latest updates. And before that opens, or both concepts opens, they should come here, celebrate, oh, yeah. because yes. September, yes. seven years at the Delta, Absolutely. which is great, right here yes. on North yes. Avenue, yes. Milwaukee, uh, not far of a walk from the train line. But yes. yeah, congratulations on that, and Thank all the you. openings, you guys. I appreciate you, it. You, you jump in 100% yeah. more Trying than what you to. had. Yeah, good for you guys. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and we'll look to see you uh, this summer at the Pink Bowl. Sounds good. Thank you, man. Appreciate yeah, no you. Problem.
All right, that is the story from the 78 here at the Delta, Tom Barney, Chicago at gmail.com. If you have a story from the 78 suggestion, head over to the website, storiesfromthe78.com. I got a whole bunch of things on there. Take a look, will you? Thanks.